The elephant in the room, the implementation of the proposed Prime Minister's slot in the BBI report, came to light during Wednesday's BBI validation hearings at the KICC, where WIPO party leader Kalonzo Msioka proposed a powerful Prime Minister whose tenure in office will be protected by the Constitution. Kalonzo's new radical proposal calls for a two-thirds threshold of 233 MPs out of the current number of 349 members in the National Assembly. No walk in the park for a president should he or she be dissatisfied with a prime minister. It can cause instability in the country, um, in my view. So let us, make it, let us make it easy that whoever is a prime minister is given some powers. And I don't think it's contradictory in the sense that the president will be uh, the head of state and head of government, the commander-in-chief of the defense forces. There's no dispute over that. Kalonzo's new proposal has however raised questions on whether the new move amounts to creating many centers of power at the top, where the president is the head of state and government, assisted by a deputy president. Kalonzo, just like ANC party leader Salim Davadi, argues the prime minister should have clearly defined roles safeguarded by the law to avoid chaos when it comes to sharing of power. Raising a two-thirds threshold to remove a prime minister is no mean feat. For a prime minister coming from a majority party, it will require the opposition and the government side to close ranks. Since 2009, parliament has been unable to rise to the occasion to muster two-thirds either to veto a presidential memo or pass the two-thirds gender rule, among other contentious laws. During the validation hearings, cracks emerged in the Wiper party. Kalonzo differed with his party deputy Farama Alim on what system of governance the country should adopt. While Kalonzo supports an executive presidency, Malim wants a parliamentary system, a move that angered Wiper MPs. It's not a matter of differing or not. But it's good that we listen to each other. Look at the doors. Look at the doors. <laughs> also submitting proposals was the Deputy Governor's Forum, which proposed the appointment of a Deputy Governor in 30 days once the Governor's office falls vacant. Failure to do so, County Assembly Speaker, to nominate a Deputy subject to the County Assembly approval. The Deputy Governors further want to be assigned a portfolio as members of county executive committees, like EPA Deputy Governor John Moniki, proposed governors be elected on a single seven-year term, a proposal the BBI steering committee said has to be in tandem with the presidency. I feel it is a time we looked at the term of a governor and perhaps consider a seven-year term that is not re-electable. Apul Kamau, K24 Evening Edition.